So today we are going to unbox a GoPro Hero 5 and I also got an SD card with it and this is part of the bundle little case that comes with a few things and it will open this up first. So inside of this we have the uh, screws for the mounts and different things like that. We have a uh, normal side mount for like chest mounts and wrist mounts and anything like that. We have a hard shell case, which you don't need for the GoPro Hero 5 because it's actually waterproof, but it's slightly bigger than the Hero 4 case. It's actually a pretty good amount bigger, but there's also only two buttons right here and on the side. The mode and power button and the shutter button. Actually, not the record button, whatever you call that. Uh, star phone. I also got a silicone case. Looks like this. You have a. This is a uh, GoPro cap for the lens. Lens cap. This just slides right over top of the lens. And then we have some. Two of each screen protector that you can just throw on and. Help with scratching is what I'm worried about. And we have windscreens, like eight of them, I think it is. And then I guess I'll get the GoPro. Okay. So you pull out the GoPro. This first, you're gonna have this mount right here. To get this off, you actually have to pull this up. I don't know if you can see this. Let me focus it there. You have to pull this piece, this little rubber piece up, pinch the two sides, and push it forward. Then it comes with this little screw, take this off, and this has a little tab on it. Right here, you can just take this off. That's just for show and hold it on snug. This is the other mount that it comes with. This little rubber piece in the middle is kind of annoying, but then the GoPro itself comes in this naked naked case. So to get this out, you actually have to push it very evenly because this button up here, right here, actually grinds up against there. It's pretty rough to get out. It is slightly bigger than the other GoPros but it's not much bigger. Probably just because of the waterproof shell and stuff. Let's put that right here. Let me open the box. This. Oh. I don't know where I threw the direction booklet. I don't know where that fell out. <laughs> but comes with two adhesive mounts. One's rounded. And one is square. Or rectangular, not square. These are both of the adhesive mounts it comes with, but then it comes with, of course, the charging cable and the battery. So, let's go. Let's see all this stuff right here. We'll try some of this, these things out. First, I uh, have the silicone case. Well, I'll show you how to put the battery in. Then you put the battery in. There's a little button right here. You will press this button in and pull on it. And this lifts right up like that. And then when you have the front facing you like this, the way you want the battery to go in is the GoPro logo will be upside down with this nub facing towards the camera and you have to press it in there a little bit harder to do with one hand and once you get it down to right about there you have to put a little more force on it and it'll click in and then to close this you press it down and slide it over but I'm also gonna take this quick <laughs> let me grab this out of here take an SD card and I think 
Not quite sure if this is going to be the correct way to put it in, if I can even put it in. But uh, this goes in that real small slot right there. And this is actually backwards, so you want this facing you. This is a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. So you slide in that slot and push it down in there. You gotta use your nail to get it snug. And then you just press down, put it down like that, and click it over. And to turn it on, there's, on the right side, there's a uh, mode power button. And if you click that, your GoPro will turn on. I did not charge a battery or anything, so it's going to be low. And right here. It's going to be a low battery warning, but we won't worry about that. Not bad. That looks pretty cool, the setup screen. It's a little bit brighter on camera actually than his in person. So English. Right, definitely not. Is, is it the 14th, 15th day? I don't know why that's still sliding. We're gonna go to the 15th. 17th, okay. There we go. And we're just gonna say Four twenty nine, four twenty eight. Scroll down. Oh, that went really fast. We're not twenty nine p.m. So on. Don't need a camera tour. Actually, you know what? We'll go through this. All right, so short press power on, long press power off. Switch between video and photo modes. Add highlight tags while recording. Capture video and photos and quick capture. These are all pretty simple things if you've ever used a GoPro before. And it's actually really easy to like go through and change different settings and Preferences, like it's saying, media is easy to access. And then he's going to talk about the capture app. Alright, well, so now that we're done the tour, I'll show you. It's very easy to change the different settings. I think 1080p actually goes up to, is it only 80? But it also records in 4K. That's not what to do. Oh my goodness. Also records in 4K at uh, 60 frames a second. Hmm. Alright. You can change a lot of recording really whatever you want then uh we're gonna go back to the silicone case that i showed you earlier i'll show you this rubber silicone case just slides right on you just gotta shove one side in first and pull the other side around like that One phone. There we go. So it's a nice little silicone case. Fits pretty well. The lens sticks out a little bit, which is why I also picked up the lens cap. This slides right over top. And that really closes it up a lot better. But overall, there's a lot of different things that come in this bundle, and it's like $460, I think so. Not a bad deal for a little portable camera and records in high quality. So thank you for watching. Go like and subscribe and have a great day.